this is section 6.2 of the projectiles uh, chapter at six in the uh, statistics and mechanics year two book and now we're going to be looking at where we consider the horizontal and vertical components of projection now in the previous examples we did there was only ever a um, horizontal component to the velocity so we had things like this yeah something was thrown horizontally off a cliff or off something like that and it dropped like that and all we had was u and we said you know that u was the same horizontally uh, wherever we go now what we've got here is something where there's a horizontal and vertical component to the initial velocity can you see the initial velocity here is up at an angle now just like before we still need to work in the horizontal and vertical separately so what that means is we need to work out what is the horizontal part or component of the initial velocity and what is the vertical component of the initial velocity now from stuff we've done before this bit here at the bottom down here that is going to be u cos alpha so let's put down u cos alpha is going to be the horizontal the vertical is going to be u sine alpha yeah you could imagine that if that was over um, if that velocity was drawn over here maybe it's just a vector we can place it where we like then that would be u sine alpha so before uh, in the previous examples the uh, initial velocity uh, vertically was zero now it's going to be u sine alpha apart from that nothing much else changes this horizontally is still going to be constant so there's still a constant velocity horizontally that hasn't changed yeah so if you were looking at this from above and you saw maybe a stone being thrown up and then come down from above it would look like it's going the same speed as it goes across your line of sight um, we're still going to have uh, gravity going down like this that's the same that hasn't changed um, the only thing as I said the only thing that's really changed is that now the initial velocity is this u sine alpha it's not zero like it was before so that's going to change our our working um, uh, slightly um, time still links the horizontal and vertical so if we were to write our suvat down s u v a t s u v a t right let's fill some stuff in here so um vertically now let's say we took upwards as positive here and we took horizontal as positive that way so s put this in would be u sine alpha oh, sorry that said u and i wrote it next to s not sure why so let's move that to the correct position uh, u sine alpha um, v well we'd use our super equations a would be negative 9.8 so I'm just putting in the things that will be the same on every question, regardless of uh, what the, the type of question it is. So U would always be U sine alpha. Uh, A would always be negative 9.8 if you're taking upwards as positive. Um, here U would be uh, U cos alpha. U cos alpha. And so would V. A is zero. That's why we can just use speed, distance and time. And you can see just like before time links to horizontal and the vertical i think i should do my equal signs going the other way 
downwards. I don't know why it's just bugging me to do it that way. Okay. First example. So here we haven't just got horizontal projection. We've got something horizontally and vertically. So it's projected from a point on a horizontal plane with a velocity of 40 meters per second at an angle alpha uh, above the horizontal where the tan of alpha equals three quarters. Let's get our diagram going before we start doing anything. So we've got this going on. OK, it seems to come back down onto the the horizontal plane there. Let's put in U and that is 40. So notice it's not just horizontal, it's 40 at an angle. And that angle is alpha. And it tells us that tan alpha is three quarters. And we know how to deal with this right angle triangle with alpha. The opposite is three, the adjacent is four, which means that's five. So then we can work out that uh, sine alpha, if we need it, is going to be three fifths exactly. And cos alpha is going to be four fifths. So we have those exact values up here if we need them. Let's put on gravity going down. A is 9.8 meters per second squared. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. OK, find the horizontal and vertical comp components of the initial velocity. Dead easy. Right. So the horizontal component. So since it's u, let's call this u x. Now, in the exam, you could just write the horizontal component is the vertical component is. But x, we know, is the x direction horizontal u initial velocity. That is just going to be uh, this part down here. That's the horizontal part. That's u x. And then this part here, that's going to be the um vertical part so ux is just going to be 40 cos alpha remember that the um horizontal is always u cos alpha and vertically it's always u sine alpha now because we've worked out cos alpha is four fifths we just do 40 times four fifths I think that's 32 because you're going to do 40 divided by 5 times by 4. Yeah, it's 32. So 32 meters per second. And then the uh, vertical velocity is going to be 4 sine, 40 sine alpha, which would be 40 times sine alpha is 3 fifths. So that's going to be 24 meters per second. Right, OK, part B. So in part B, um, given that the vectors I and J are unit vectors um, acting in a horizontal plane, horizontal and vertically respectively, express the initial velocity, velocity in terms of I and J. OK, so I is the bit that goes ac across. So 32I and J the, is the bit that's going um up so plus 24j so they happen both to be positive in this case because the question is literally telling us that this point here is like the origin with i going this way and j going that way yeah in different questions they may be negative it all depends on where it's being projected from and uh uh you know the direction it's going out after that and uh it needs to be in the right unit so meters per second there stick in brackets so we know that all of that is meters per second and if we wanted to work out the speed we could do pythagoras on that uh, and we already know the direction so we'd end up only going back and finding the angle and we know the tan of that angle already right so this one here here we're using the vectors i and j 
uh, fine initial speed it's projected with that velocity now that means that I drew a diagram the initial velocity in terms of i and j is like 3i i j and we basically want to find this and this okay so that i know that this is phi and you can see easily right pythagoras and um trigonometry so initial speed initial speed that's just going to be pythagoras on three and five to find the length of that red line so that's uh, root 34 i think 25 plus 934 yeah so root 34 we can leave it like that that's exact um don't have to change it to a decimal unless the question says like uh give your answer to a certain number of decimal places or significant figures and the angle of projection well that's just going to be the tan inverse of 5 over 3 the opposite over the adjacent so tan inverse 5 over 3 and I get 59.03624 degrees so 15 or three significant figures would just be 59.0 degrees 59.0 degrees for our angle of projection Okay, we can now do exercise 6b on pages 112 to 113.